are now crossing the Daugava River here in Vivani. How do you like that? It's fun. You said you only have three of these. Yes, we have only three such ferries in Latvia. One is in Livani, another one is like two kilometers further, which is in Dunava. And then the third one is close to Riga in the, uh, what was this? Liga, eh? Yeah, where Liga. this paper mill is. Welcome back to the Planet V. Today we're going to explore one of the old settlement towns here in Latvia. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today, to explore this town, we have with us... What is your name? My name is Walters. Sik te vigadu? My name is Vigadu. Will you be our guide today? Yes. Ah, oh, pal diez. Today we're going to explore the town of Rayleigh. Let's go! <laughs> one of the towns in the Latgale region of Latvia. It was documented as early as 1250 and by 1935, there were 1,662 people living in this town. Around half of them were Jews. In 1836, the Borch family manor was erected. Braley Manor was built in 1817, commissioned by Count Joseph Heinrich Burg. The chapel is a valuable example of late 19th century classical manor architecture in Latgale. It has become the burial place of the Braley branch of the Count Burg family. Some artworks are exhibited in the chapel.
four-story neo-gothic palace was erected in 1836. This rounded part was added later and a bit later that part which is actually the they call it the campanile that's the third uh, level which was originally wooden. In 1978 there was a fire which entirely burned the building and it remained like that. The first time I was here it was super devastated. Now they're doing the renovation and I'm excited to see the final result. In 2017, the restoration of the Praley Palace was started which will house the exposition of the Praley History and Applied Art Museum. Rayleigh has the largest landscaped park in Latvia that covers 41.2 hectares, of which 13.2 are covered by ponds. You'll see here some architectural monuments, a chapel, stables, the palace itself, the park's main cottage, and some areas for sports. Even today, it is one of the most remarkable Latvian parks in the countryside. There are 25 species of trees and shrubs in the park. Some of them are already considered great trees. The monument behind me is called the Broken Music. We can see a mother with her harp. This monument is dedicated to all the victims of the Second World War. Troops entered Braley on 28th of June 1941. Jews were arrested and placed in the synagogue, then were taken in groups to be shot at the Jewish cemetery of the town. During the Soviet period on the site of murder at the Jewish cemetery, a monument in black granite was erected, bearing an inscription in Yiddish and Russian. We shall mourn eternally for our parents, brothers and sisters murdered by fascist 19. I am now at the Rainia Boulevaris, which is also uh, called the Rainis Boulevard in English. Rainis is a famous Latvian poet. These houses here, they're very colorful, made of wood. I will walk on the street and show you the colorful houses. Janina Kursite, the author of the book A Latvian's Home, invites everyone to discover the fascinating world of traditions of wooden architecture in Latvia and Europe, to learn about the significance of a home in a person's life, as well as to get a deeper understanding of a Latvian's home and culture that defines it.
thank you for joining us on this tour of Braley. I would appreciate if you subscribe and share this video to your friends. For the meantime, I'm gonna play football with Diaries and Walters. Thank you.